Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. This is your host, Steve. I'm super excited to be working with Eagle Moss to bring you the Build Your Own DeLorean from Back to the Future. This is issue number three. Here's the magazine for issue three, and here are the parts that go along with it. This time uh, they're in a nice blister pack here, and it looks like I received the parts for one of the wheels. I'll go ahead and take these out, we'll get a closer look, and then we'll go ahead and assemble this issue. Okay, let's look at the magazine first. Let's quickly look over the magazine here, and that's the whole purpose of these issues is the magazine. Of course, we get the kit parts and we get to build along as we read the articles and learn more about the Back to the Future. Uh, movie. With that, um, it's not just one movie, it was several movies, wasn't it? And growing up, uh, this, this was one of my favorite movies uh, back in the 80s. Anyway, right away it gives us a list of all the parts that we received with this issue, table of contents, and then they get right into building the parts themselves, assembling the first wheel assembly. Some nice photography here, some nice articles about the Back to the Future movie. Um, another reality here, to talk about Marty McFly and Emmett Brown. And, you know, we're kind of getting the introduction here. This is only issue three of the magazine. Moving on, they talk about the Spielberg factor and uh, some of the movies and hits that he came out with. Uh, Jaws, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and Romance in the Stone. Jaws scared the living daylights out of me when I saw that at the movies with my dad in Ohio and of course Close Encounters of the Third Kind I saw that at uh, Williams Air Force Base movie theater and I absolutely fell in love with that movie and then we got the, the final countdown you got some of the artists conceptual drawings of the DeLorean what it would look like and of course I had an uncle in Northern Ireland Belfast that worked at the DeLorean factory that built these cars and of course we get an article about uh, Finding Marty and uh, what, it, what that's all about, changing history and uh, the, you know, the reasons why Michael J. Fox decided to do this movie. And we get an article about Doc Brown, Christopher Lloyd, which uh, he's a real character in the movie as you know. And he's, I think he's what uh, really makes this movie. And then they give us a preview of what we're going to receive in issue four, uh, the uh, Mr. Fusion Reactor. All right, let's get on with the build. I'll be right back and we'll look at the parts. And of course, here's a closer look of the blister pack. Let me pull these out and we'll get a closer look at the parts themselves. With issue three, we receive the tire, the hubcap, which is made of plastic, the rim which is metal. We received a washer and the little hub and the hub does say DMC on it. We received a, a pin and we received a three BP screws. Okay so we received a three screws in the little bag. We actually got four screws in that bag and the pin itself is actually already installed in the hub cap. That would be the valve stem. Here's a hub cap washer and the four BP screws. And here's a close-up of that pin or valve stem. Here's a close-up of the tire. Nice tampo graphics on the rubber. And here's a close-up of the metal rim itself. Let's go ahead and assemble this. All right, we'll go ahead and insert the rim into the tire, and that's just a little matter of just pushing it through. And we'll check the back side to make sure it popped through on the back side like it's supposed to. Takes a little bit of coaxing there. 
All right, to install the rim, we want to line up the holes. We got two holes that are close together and one that's far away. Same thing on the cap. We'll take and simply put that down on top there till it falls into the detent. Turn it over, give it a check to make sure I can see the nuts there. And we will go ahead and put the first screw in. Remember we've got four of these we're going to have to put together. These would be the BP screws. And one more to go. These are self-tapping screws. We're actually going into the plastic rim through the metal wheel. And there we have it. And last but not least, we will install the hub cap. First, we put the washer in there first. And then we put the cap on. Here's a close up. And that's all we do with issue three. With this pack that I received in the mail, we received the binder. So I will show you how to use the binder after we complete issue six. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, please head over to Eagle Moss website. I put a link in the description below on how you can get your own copy of this DeLorean Back to the Future car build 1 8 scale. It's been fun. I've enjoyed every step of the way so far. Stay tuned for issue 4. Happy modeling everybody. Take care.